Welcome back on board the Normandy, guys. We're post Vermeer. We uh, we managed to escape the planet. Sadly, uh, Caden died. Got left behind. As we were trying to set up the bomb, the Geth attack was just kind of too overwhelming. We had to make a decision between going back to save Ashley, who was trying to set the detonator on the bomb, and Caden, who was with the Solarian uh, assault team who were kind of drawing the Geth attack away from the main facility. We had a big confrontation with, with Seren where we learned a lot about his motives, about why he's working with Sovereign, about the, the Reapers. It was all really interesting. It's sad about Caden. Um, still, uh, I'm not going to say it was a coin toss between who I was picking. Um, but I don't know. Um, I was kind of maybe, I mean, maybe thought we were going to be able to get out of it. I wasn't sure how, because I don't know how permanent our group of characters are throughout this series. I don't know if, like, the group we've got now are going to be present throughout the whole trilogy or whether we're going to get a new squad in each game or if there's a time jump between, I, you know, I just don't know. So, um, I don't know how long lasting that decision will be, but I guess we'll find out. So, we need to head to this Mew Relay, which I think is in the in the Terminus system. Uh, but before we do that, it's probably an idea to talk to everyone in the squad. The council are kind of uh, cleaning their hands of the whole situation, which is a bit typical, I suppose. Um, but we're going to go, obviously, after a big mission like that, we're going to go around and talk to the crew, see how everyone's feeling. Uh, hopefully, we get some new dialogue from Presley and Joker. Yes, Commander. Personal questions. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance. We were at Elysium during the... They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. Speak freely, Presley. I trust you, Commander. If you think they... Carry on, Yes, ma'am. Okay, nothing new. It's weird, man. You, know, you guys told me that we'll have new dialogue that pops up, but... Commander. There we go. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have... Been. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. There's something I had to do, Joker. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just. I mean, it's hard, you know. You feeling all right, Joker? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. I'll be okay, Commander. I just right. need some time. Sure thing, buddy. I'll go away and work on my cardio, Joker. Okay. <laughs> we're going to need to go and sell a bunch more stuff. Although we're, we're pretty maxed out on money. So I might just reduce some to Omnigel. Let's go and stare at the space Caden would usually be stood in. Sorry, Caden. Sorry. Let's refill these things. Hey there, Doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on I enlisted. But humanity... How did you end up serving I... But humanity needs the Alliance. Goodbye, okay. Commander. Nothing new from the Doctor. You feeling okay now, Liara? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I mean, we've done this mind meld thing twice now. It's a bit, you know... Should, should I be a bit worried? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yeah, this is the same as the last time we did the mind meld. She is very good, yes. In good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. Not as simple as that, He's though. He's trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign. Okay. But he is powerless mm. to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Yeah, Did he think he could yeah. somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? No, it's just simple curiosity. 
Maybe we'll never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Uh, I'll see if these are any different. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Uh, let's listen to this again. I've, I know it, we've heard this bit. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Okay, we, we, we've spoke about this before. Well, let's just finish the dialogue. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Okay. Oh, let's just finish this tree. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You don't know who? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. No, you don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. It's interesting to hear this again. I imagine we might just get we might get the most new dialogue from Ashley here. Uh, but she says she wanted some time when kind of thinking about the shepherd liara relationship, I guess. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Oh, damn it. Benezia never t As I am what is... It is possible Benezia's partner... Sorry, I don't know why I don't know that was a repeat. Many Asari raised their children alone. I should go. Goodbye, Sorry. shepherd. Okay. Not much new stuff from Liara. I guess that was kind of a carryover from the mind meld stuff that we heard post. Um... When did we have the last mind meld? Was it after Pharos or Novaria? I can't really remember. Anyway, let's go talk to Ashley. We'll talk to the others too, but. 
Actually, should take priority. Hey! How the hell did you guys survive? Captain! It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Yeah, we all face tough choices, Captain. He knew what the risks were. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. I love an Asari teammate, man. I hope we get one in a future game. Uh, Commander. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. I thought we had to be honest. The captain considers <laughs> the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Okay. Okay, sweet. Uh, we don't need any of these. Oh, uh, so much stuff! <laughs> Well, the Slarians are so cool. Their armor's awesome as well. Their helmets are quality. Feeling okay, Ashes? Commander? How'd you feel about Caden? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault. If I would have gone for Caden, then would that would and you died, would you have said that was his fault? Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? I mean, I guess, yeah. I would go for this. I would go for I grieved. It's just, it depends if you have the, it depends when you get the opportunity to grieve, right? I guess in the circumstance of a soldier, you might not have time to grieve until the fighting is over. So I had to survive on a coups and then I could grieve once I was in a safe position, right? You have, to, I guess it's the, I don't know how the saying goes, but like grief, uh, grieving is um, grief. Grief is a privilege of a, of peace, right? So if you're living in a peaceful time, in a peaceful place, then gr grieving, being able to grieve, is a privilege. You know, I think you can look at grief as such a negative thing, but you should kind of be happy that you are able to go through it, right? rather than having to ignore it and progress and move on if you're in a kind of crisis situation or in a situation of war or or where death is more prevalent grief is yeah i grieved later i didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger we've got work to do williams oh come on that's not what i meant yeah a good guy like oh. him must be with god now huh what the so, hell man sad about he must be happier thanks for the advice skipper that is not what I meant at all. That was so harsh. You feeling all right? What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over. I think the odds are against us. Okay, so maybe Sovereign needs to needs the con conduit to awaken the Reaper army. But, uh, they're better than they were. We've got more knowledge now. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. Hmm. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Maybe. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Sure. 
dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. The way that they say goodbye to each other makes me think that there was that there's kind of, that there was maybe a romance in consideration at some point there. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeyer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thanks, Rex. I'm glad to still have you around. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Sure. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Yeah, I guess he will, yeah. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. Hmm. Genophage, this might have changed. What can you tell me about the Genophage? All I know, every Krogan is infected. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, that was repeat information. Uh, how you doing, Garrus? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Again? Why? What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. Sure. You're welcome, Garrus. Okay, that was the same as before. A bit strange. Looking uh. for supplies? Let's see what you, you bet, Commander. Alright, let's consider buying something first. Um... Heavy armor. Don't think that's a touch on Ashley's current armor. You guys said that the light armor to use would be Colossus or... Was it Scorpion? Definitely not. Man, this... Sucks! Uh, Kovalyov. We've got the 9... Oh no, we have got the 10. Yeah, we've got all the top top level gear now. Right, we're gonna have to sell stuff. Right, pistols. I think I, I think I converted all quite a few to Omni Gel. So. We've got a stiletto 10, so you're useless. We'll get rid of any duplicates. That's pretty good. Right, we've got an Armageddon 10, so we don't need these two. We'll save the tens. Um, no, we've already maxed out again, so I might as well just convert all these, right? Whoa, that's a lot of tsunamis. Omni gel. Yeah, we dealt with most of them. We got a lot of sniper rifles though. Yeah, Volkov 9, don't need you. I wish I knew how to assign things as junk. The hell have I got so many punishes? I don't know what the max omni gel is.
I'll just keep the highest level stuff, yeah. Yeah. Right, that'll do for now. Let's go talk to Tali and then I think we can move on with our mission, I think. Adams, have you got Something anything else to say? For you, Commander. No. Carry on, Bye, Adams. Commander. Hey Shepard, do you need something? Uh the Geth. No, that's a black hole. See you later. Okay, I don't think there was anything new there. They usually prompt you with important new stuff at least. Man, I like having these Solarians on board. My superiors will hear of this. You have made an ally of the Solarian people. I like you guys. Alright, I guess we're, we've only got one place to go unless there's some specific side quests that will get unlocked here. So the Mew Relay. Recording check, that's important, Matt. Um, let's check my loadout, I guess. And this Colossus arm is insane, are we going to get Colossus 10? These tools suck. Why have I still got this? Well, we can get rid of most of these, right? Because I'm the only one who can equip these, right? God, look at all this. Perfect. So let's just get uh, the extra damage ones. Alright, to the map. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. All right. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The oh. Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. So, <laughs> the journals kind of spoilt what's going on here. Didn't it say something about defending the Citadel? Joint species fleet. Let's do it. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight here. Oh, we're actually at the Council. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Do you want to, Dina? The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Patrols? Is that it? You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. No, it's not. 
What about the conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. But what about the Reapers? We spoke to one. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. A dream? I'll go after him, covertly. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. What would you have Your done? Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you don't. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're oh, becoming God. more trouble than you're worth. Just... You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Screw you, man. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. This is strange, man. He's acting strange. Hello. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Yeah, they're fools. I showed them the truth and they still won't believe. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. Maybe they're being controlled in some loose way. You can't trust politicians. I should have known better. Udina, the council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I did try. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? No. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Thanks, Liara. Oh. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from <laughs> Captain Anderson. Are you listening in, you pervert? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Hmm. You should probably go meet with him. Okay, let's take the aura to alleviate the tension. Let's take. Oh. See, I don't know if we're going to be fighting or not. We'll let Ashley cool off for a bit. Rex as well. So it's. I'm going to take. I'll take the aura. Let's take Tali. She might be an interesting conversation if we're talking about the Gath. I'm sure we're going to have to fight here for some reason. I feel like we're going to have to fight. Equalizing interior pressure with Mechanic. exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Okay, fine. Uh, she's dressed like an Albed from Final Fantasy X, right? 
Really? Oh god. Come on, Tali, don't get trapped in the door. I suppose this would be a good time for the, uh... What are they called? No. In the early 2160s, the keepers. When the Asari. I forgot what they were called. Then. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human Spectre. Unfortunately, Shepard refused to answer questions, raising concerns regarding the Spectre's commitment to humanity. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Uh oh. Yeah, we're just dancing again. Tali is uncomfortable. <laughs> We need some red armor for uh, Liara. Or some purple armor for us. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Fl uh, Flux, right? The casino. We've seen him there before. Let's go on foot. I'd like to have some more of those radio. Listening on more of the radio uh, messages. Let's A go, research ladies. facility in the Hades Gamma Cluster was the victim of an attack by biotic extremists. The drugged researchers attacked Alliance soldiers, and the rescue operation became a brutal massacre. The research center is unlikely to reopen in the near future. Okay. Let's, uh, I just need to make sure we've leveled up. Yeah, Tali's got quite a few points. So we'll, uh, max out her armor so she's a bit less, uh, frail. We could get our advanced carnage, make her a bit more of a damage de dealer, then go into damping. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Level 28? Oh god, that means she's only got four points left. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, because we can only get to level 30, right? Right, Tali, I'm sure there's some better weaponry we could be giving you. Right, she she do, uh, we'll give her a decent shotgun. That's 320, 91 accuracy. High explosive rounds. No, you've got tungsten. Tungsten rounds. Let's give you some better tungsten rounds. We need to get rid of some of these. A lot of these. Uh, she's got a rail extension. Let's give her combat, combat optics. Let's give her a new pistol. Uh, oh, she's got a um, master gear. No, oh, I'm happy with that. Give her a bit of a mix. Have I given her? I've given her so much master gear. She's got good med, uh, good cooldown bonuses on that. Right, off to flux. I just, I'd really like to talk with the keepers. A keeper squad mate is what I would really like. Charles Saracino. Excuse me. You're the Spectre, right? Okay, these look like human for humanity first type people. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Explain yourself, mate. Yeah, cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saracino of the Terra Firma Party. Oh, with no. Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Uh, what's this about? I don't know Terra Firma's platform, 
What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Yep. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Never trust a what man with a goatee. What the alliance does affects everyone around it. She's right, there's a bigger picture. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. What election? What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space. But you can't have stayed in any one settle system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. What's this about Armistice Day? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. Yeah. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. <sighs> yep. You've learned nothing, mate. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. This guy is the worst. Never trust a man with a pencil goatee. Ever. <laughs> Do one. I'll think about it. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Commander, have you changed your mind? Terra Firma could use your support in the election. No, nope, I don't think so. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support no. for my candidacy. The Do support one. of the first human specter would be invaluable. Why are you talking about Shanxi? The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. I'm not going to support you. You can do one. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Oh, slap him. Shoot him. Terra Firma. Shoot them all. <laughs> So? Oh my god, be quiet. You're on an intergalactic space station chatting this nonsense. Can I take a moment of your time? Oh, what do you want? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Oh, what is it, dude? It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. Yes. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Cut the axe, mate. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What drug are you talking about? What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases <laughs> mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. The you hell? know the monthly limits. Why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over and that would be a disaster. What's wrong with the assistant? Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. 
But that's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. <sighs> Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I, don't I have billions talk, of credits my already. Will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Ah, I'm sure I'll be fine. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> my assistant wants to bend over backward. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Uh, you sound like a drug addict, mate. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. <laughs> All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Don't be an idiot. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. Nope. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, <laughs> and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. Listen to yourself. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. I mean, generally speaking, you shouldn't be being, uh, really so harsh with people dealing with addiction. I'm not saying that's the right way to deal with that in real life, but... I still can't believe that could happen out in the open like that. What? Uh, and <laughs> Come on, Liara. Uh, where's Anderson? Aren't we in flux? Oh, he's there. He's got a t-shirt on. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard you have. Medina sold me out, mate. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. How are we going to get out, though? There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems. But if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. And what about you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. My crew as well, though, right? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. All right, what have we got to do? What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Hmm. Have we got any other options, mate? There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. This is the worst plan ever. Not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Oh, no.
I don't want him to have to kill any guards or anything. I think he should go for his office. But I mean, he used to be a spectre, right? Or a prospective spectre, so I'm sure he can handle himself without killing anyone. I guess the risk is he gets caught red-handed in his office, tried for treason. He tries to go to Citadel Control, gets caught by CSEC or killed by CSEC. Right? But if Udin has kind of seen this kind of thing coming, maybe his office is going to be well guarded. I don't know what to do. I'm leaning towards Citadel Control. We, we, we heard stories about how they were kind of, the staff were tired and overworked and stuff. He used to be a Spectre Man. I think we should trust his ability to work covertly here. Rather than trusting his kind of hacking skills and not being caught red handed by Udina. I don't know. Go for Citadel Control. I think this is... I don't know if we say you decide whether it'll just be like a random one and he could pick either or if he does have a preference, but... Go for Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Um... Sure. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdowns. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. What's it, Elos? Maybe we'll get to scan some more planets. Should we check anywhere else out? Like the nightclub or... Nah, we're getting out of here. Shut up. No blood for aliens. I mean, we don't really need to sell anything, so there's no need to go to... Doctor, Doctor Michelle. Treaty negotiations between the Alliance and the Solarian Republic have uh -oh. finally concluded. Solarians praised the openness and flexibility of Alliance negotiators in pursuing a deal that benefited both sides. Nice. The deal was brokered by new Alliance negotiator Thomas Kent after his mentor Elias Keeler withdrew, citing health reasons. Cool. Immediate effect. All right, Joker, we're going. Have increases in Citadel traffic endangered our safety? Emily Wong offers an inside look at the dangerous world of space traffic nice. control. Oh, come on. Is the Albed still here? Nope. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Okay, I was hoping he'd be more subtle than this. He's gonna get shot, man. Freeze! Back away from the console! 
Hands up! Now! One shit, Joker. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Okay. Captain should be okay. Got shot in the knee. Medical science is has progressed. I'm sure he will be walking fine. Okay. Um, maybe we should talk to everyone. See what they say. Presley? Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. <laughs> My man, Presley. <laughs> Joker. Oh, damn it. No sign of pursuit. I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. It's not over yet, buddy. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? I no. have to go. Alright, see you. Okay, so we've got some new dialogue off Presley. Let's go and talk to the others. Yeah, I hope Anderson's okay. But yeah, I guess they'll be charged with treason, I suppose. Weird with Udina. Very weird. Doctor? It's strange. Being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. I'll try, Doc. Liara? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Nothing important. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Never mind. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, nothing new there. Let's check with the people downstairs. It's worth checking, right? That's a pretty important event. Imagine Ashley might have something to say. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. <laughs> it's risky, but hopefully it'll pay off. Yeah, they'll thank us in the end. We'll be fine, Garrus. Just be ready when we find Saren. Yes, Commander. Ashes. Commander. How are we doing? What's your opinion of the We've last? Got a hard fight. Fleets. I think the odds are against us. That's what pisses me off. Not being able to shoot back. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Okay. Ma'am. Rex, you got an opinion? The Salarians are gone. Stealing an Alliance ship. Risky stuff. Yeah, you love it, Rex. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Thanks, mate. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. Mm-hmm. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. I should just have to trust me. They won't. With you, anything's possible. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So long, Rex. Shepherd. Where's the treadmill? We need to train. We're fugitives on the run. <laughs> Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Would your dad help us? Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute <laughs> us himself. 
Ah, we can't worry about that. We got bigger problems than your father, like Saren and the Reapers. Good point. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? I should go. See you later. All right. I think I'm going to have to end the episode there, guys. Uh, we'll save the kind of whatever the me relay entrance stuff is for the beginning of the next episode. So interesting that something something weird is going on with Udina and or the whole council, as if Sovereign or another Reaper's got an influence on them already for them not to take this as seriously as they should be. Um, so something weird. Well, something weird is definitely going on with Udina. Uh, I can't really speak for the rest of the council. They've definitely fallen victim to a wait and see approach, which can often happen, right? In, for people in positions of power, um, come a bit complacent. But we're on our way to the new relay. Hopefully, Captain Anderson will be okay. Maybe we can break him out of prison if he's not executed or something uh, silly like that. So. Yeah, we'll pick it up from here next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a like if you did. And just remember, everybody, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you back on board the Normandy.